well after this tutorial you will be able to make any slow-mo or even ultra slow-mo cloth animation videos of your own i am rogue knight 3d let's begin the tutorial well delete the cube and the lamp first shift a make a plane as to scale it up shift a again bring in a uv sphere gz bring it up a little then scale it down now shift a again this time bring in a cylinder rx90 to rotate as to scale it down then sy to scale it up along y axis as well then right click shade smooth you can see the sides of the cylinder are messed up you can simply fix it by just uh, checking auto smooth I will be quickly arranging the scene for our animation. Now select the plane, shift D to duplicate, GZ to bring it up and then scale it down. Now it's time to set up the physics properties. Select the ground plane in physics tab, select collision, increase friction to 15, keep single sided checked. Now select the cylinder, collision, friction to 10, uncheck single sided and check override normals. Now it's the same for the sphere, collision, friction to 10, uncheck single sided and then uh, check override normals. Now select the top plane which is gonna be our cloth. But before I set up any physics properties, we have to subdivide it first. For that, tap to go to the edit mode, right click, subdivide, have at least 50 or you can use at least 40 number of cards. Now tap back to object mode, select cloth in the physics properties. Now these are the cloth settings. We actually have some presets already here as well. I use the silk one for my final render. So I'm gonna use it again, quality steps increase it to 10 or uh, use at least 7 vertex mass 1 kg now go all the way down to collision change distance to 0 0.01 now check self collision again change distance to 0 0.01 and yeah one more thing gravity increase it to 1.5 And now if I press play, we can see the cloth is reacting perfectly with other objects. Yeah, it's a bit blocky for that. Just a right click, shade smooth. It's enough. But still, if you want to make it even more smoother, you can use a subdivision modifier. Press play again. It's good, but uh, I will be rearranging the objects in the scene to get the final look before we try slow motion. You can arrange the objects till you get an animation that you like. This isn't perfect but um, it's okay. Or I guess I should fix it a little bit more. Okay, yeah, now it's good. Now to get the slow-mo effect, select the cloth, go to physics cloth properties. You can see the speed multiplier. It's at 1, which is its normal speed. So if I decrease it to 0.5, you can see the animation has slowed down. And you might have noticed as well, the number of frames have increased as well. So now if I go down even more to something like 0 0.05 Now it's like super slow It always is a bit shaky in the beginning at the top I don't know why but uh, it's gonna be fine after a few frames But the animation stopped It's because we didn't increase the frame count Well I will increase the frames to something like 800 and uh, 0.05 is a bit too slow So I'm gonna go with something like 0 0.075 it still is not gonna work but uh, I have to show you guys so you can learn because uh, many of you guys will certainly get stuck here if I didn't teach you this time. Uh, see the animation ended at 250 again 
even we have increased the frame count well to fix it we have to go to cache in the physics cloth properties and here you increase the end frame to 800 as well And now you can see the cloth animation runs full 800 frames. It's good but I'm gonna change frames to 1000 in both the timeline and the cache settings. And I'm fine with the animation so I will just bake the animation so Blender do not have to recalculate everything all the time. Now it's all baked and I clearly don't want the starting animation so I will just uh, change the start keyframe. Okay, uh, now this is good. Actually, uh, 900 is okay as the end keyframe. Once it's all done, then we will quickly set up some materials. I gave our cloth a little bit metallic uh, so it gives a popping look. Specular is okay, a roughness to 0.4. Now for the other objects, uh, use any color, a roughness to 0.7. It's the same for the other object as well. Now add some lights and you have yourself a slow-mo cloth sequence animation of your own. And uh, this is it for today, hope you liked the video and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Well see you soon in my next video, y'all take care till then and happy blending.